you so much. Uh, I'm so glad that you were uh, here today. Uh, very good afternoon, uh, Your Highness, uh, Excellencies, uh, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. And, and uh, we are so proud of uh, this moment. Uh, Dubai is about that partnership, partnership between uh, uh, private sector, government, international bodies to create uh, the right uh, content. Uh, Dubai is a city where you have more than 200 uh, nationalities uh, living in, uh, having uh, a great time uh, working, uh, living, and, and uh, uh, having the highest quality in uh, everything. Uh, looking at the infrastructure in Dubai, when it comes to the roads, to the uh, Dubai International Airport, uh, that's one side, but also from the content side, if you look at uh, uh, such uh, a venue that we are in today, uh, Dubai Opera. Uh, Dubai Opera is here to uh, host uh, the uh, highest standard, the best events in the world. And today, with this partnership, we are working together to bring uh, the best, to show the best of Dubai to uh, the, the, the people who are uh, living in Dubai, uh, visiting in Dubai, and people who got really a high expectation and would, uh, want to see what Dubai is capable of uh, offering. Uh, uh, Dubai Opera is being uh, the house to host uh, uh, multiple uh, theatrical shows, Arabic, uh, international uh, concerts, plays, so many types of uh, events, and we've been working on that, and today uh, we are partnering together to really elevate and take this partnership and, and take the events to another level. Uh, Dubai Event Scene is uh, great, and it's a uh, uh, big of uh, contribution to the tourism, uh, and Dubai Opera adds a special flavor that nobody else uh, can have with the equipment, uh, with the facilities, uh, with the content, uh, with the right expertise that it has. And this collaboration should really uh, bring uh, uh, the risk uh, of the world. Uh, when we look at the tourism figures, and, and, and uh, just taking uh, 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 a quick comparison from uh, the uh, pandemic uh, just before the pandemic, uh, 2019 to today, the, the, the figures are much higher. For the first half of uh, uh, 2020, we are 8.5 million uh, visitors, which is exceeding uh, the figures of uh, 2019. Uh, and at the same time, we have been 20% uh, of the growth from uh, last year. Uh, uh, this partnership uh, is bringing uh, quite a lot in terms of content, but uh, not only that, uh, it is uh, bringing uh, the, key, the new training uh, uh, college. Uh, which is in collaboration uh, with the uh, Dubai uh, College of Tourism. And, and that's uh, really uh, an investment for the future, for the new generation, uh, 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 for the content that uh, really can be produced here uh, in, in this part of the world and uh, to go uh, worldwide. Uh, today, we are bringing uh, this international content. Uh, tomorrow, we will going to see uh, the locals and uh, uh, the residents here uh, uh, having the highest level of skills to bring the best productions and take them from here uh, to the world. Uh, Dubai is committed to uh, bringing the highest quality uh, events uh, and also to what Paul said. Uh, we are always looking at innovation. We always uh, uh, benchmark against ourselves. Our, uh, success is the, our biggest uh, uh, enemy because uh, uh, year after year we have to uh, uh, exceed the numbers that uh, uh, we have achieved uh, and that not because of us, because all the visitors, everybody who loves Dubai uh, uh, expects uh, that and expects more. So we remain committed to bringing the best to all of you. Thank you. It's really a lot of the collaboration with them. Uh, yeah. Joint forces with you, I'm sure, will, will definitely help us to do more and more and better and better. Thank you so much. The heritage of the city and of the country. And we want really to have here uh,
to biculture, but we also wanted to really join forces also with biculture because we believe that it's part of our mission here at Life Opera also to promote and support the local culture, the local talents, and we have to do this more and more. Thank you very much, Paolo, and thank you very much again for having us at the White House as part of this important initiative for the initiative for the body. So maybe I'll have to go back one step and mention why the white culture is taking part of this uh, important step. We've never been uh, so close to, uh, to the white opera, although it was, uh, it was always there for the past six, seven years. Performing art is one of the most important uh, segments of the art. And with knowing the why, everyone knows here that we've been doing a lot in visual arts, we've been doing a lot in design, the contribution of design to the GDP is approximately 2%, and the contribution of visual arts is nearly 1%. We wanted to have one important goal, is to increase the contribution of performing arts to the total GDP in Dubai. This is one of the, one of the main goals that we wanted to uh, enrich with this collaboration with Dubai Opera and, uh, and Dubai Tourism. A very important goal also that uh, Paolo mentioned uh, in, uh, a couple of minutes ago is we want, yes, we are looking at attracting global talent, which is extremely important, but we're looking at growing and nurturing locally based talent. Locally based talent, I'm not talking about only locals as Emiratis, but anyone who's living here in the UAE. That's extremely important for us. Uh, we've been in discussion with uh, Dubai, uh, Dubai Opera and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, companies and, and uh, organizations that are connected to this uh, important subsector. We wanted to have in a couple of years more and more locally based artists standing here in front of you. Uh, like I was, even I was looking at the names of uh, the shows that you see on the left and the right hand side. Hopefully with more collaboration happening with uh, Dubai Tourism and Dubai Opera, you would find locally based show happening here that international people come and see it and, and, and uh, talk about it uh, outside. It's, it's very important that when we look at those three aspects, growing talent, nurturing talent, and growing the GDP, it's very well connected. It's it's within the DNA of Dubai. Dubai does stuff that a lot of cities in the world does does it differently. Uh, with 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 the opera, very well connected with the, with the major developer in Dubai. That's not usually the case in a lot of places in the world. But that also shows how connected Dubai ecosystem is. Uh, Hopefully with this collaboration we'll have more and more and we're looking forward to also to have more locally based artists as part of this campaign in the coming years. Thank you very much. Thank you so much Dr. Paro and it's, uh, it's a great honor for you to be, to be here with you on the stage, uh, especially in this iconic place uh, by Opera. So it's a real honor for me, uh, and especially me with your excellency here, our long-standing partners as well. Uh, UNESCO and the UAE uh, have been in this partnership for many, many years uh, now. UAE is a great supporter of UNESCO all over the world, supporting uh, cultural programs, education programs uh, in many parts of the world, and especially in conflict uh, areas. And uh, my presence here, this partnership with, uh, with the Bio Opera, is just one step further in uh, consolidating this great partnership that we have with the UAE. Um, we believe um, culture and creative industries are at the core of human development, are at the core of sustainable development. Like Dr. Saeed just mentioned now, the contribution to the GDP of uh, performing arts is quite important and is a great, has a great potential. And this is what UNESCO is aiming uh, at working uh, with the different member states, uh, the role of culture and creative industries in developing the
the human beings since early ages, uh, since uh, the early uh, years of school, makes real uh, changes in, in the human beings of tomorrow, in the leaders of tomorrow. And this is another testimony of the support of QAE. Uh, by the end of this year, or maybe in January, uh, the UAE has already committed to host the first ever international conference on arts and culture in education, and education for arts and culture. And this is a major step, and we're really proud of this partnership uh, with, uh, with the UAE. For the Dubai uh, Opera, I think your role as a bridge between cultures to bring the world together on this stage, this is a major role that is uh, of prime importance for UNESCO. <clears throat> We're really proud of, uh, of this partnership, bringing the artists together from the different cultures, bringing them here and exposing the local artists as well to this international conference. And I really congratulate you and commend you for the very rich repertoire that is ahead of us. And I hope I will have the chance to come uh, to Dubai often enough to, to be able to attend uh, all of this. So, uh, once again, I, I really thank you and I really congratulate you and I look forward to working very closely with you and with all the authorities. Thank you very much. One, let me be fast with my quicker. One is going to be one way, the iconic way. So, next slide, so I really mentioned it, and Madame Abbas is like one opera. So, we open our season with both. A ballet and an opera in just a few days. And these productions were being presented by a very excellent and respected uh, opera company coming from Europe, the Hungarian State Opera in Hungarian Ballet National. So we have right now, uh, behind this curtain, more than 200, 300 people, a full ballet company, full orchestra, choir, cast of singers that are getting ready to present. Tomorrow night, first one lady in a couple of days, uh, uh, We wanted to celebrate this moment of the opening of the season with two gala nights. So we want also to uh, have the opportunity really to leave this very, very uh, special evening at our best, as by opera, but also maybe at our best as, as a community. So we are also challenging the the community and our audience to, to come here really not just for another show but come here to experience something hopefully memorable. I'm not going to now too much into the artistic details otherwise it will take too much time but we will share with each and every one of you of course a detail, a detail uh, press release before you leave the, the auditorium now. And this is really, we are very very proud of the next three performances, because those performances, I believe, are going to uh, leave a special mark uh, in the history of our organization, but I believe also leave a special mark in uh, Dubai and in the country of the UAE. First of all, well, I'm extremely proud. Technology not over the cell phone. I'm extremely proud announce that for the very first time in the UAE, the or orchestra of the La Scala Theatre from Milan will perform on this very stage. Uh, this is a uh, I think this is really uh, an extraordinary possible milestone uh, for by opera by and the UAE. Uh, I'm sure as you all know the Scala Theatre is one of the most iconic opera houses in the world. It's operating since hundreds and hundreds of years. And of course, it's one of the maybe highest uh, representative of artistic excellence in the world of the performing arts and the opera. And we are so proud to be able to present this concert, which we are sure is going to inspire a full house of, of people, but mostly in general with this concert we want to launch uh, a bigger message. That's why this concert is going to take place on December 1st. 
during actually the uh, making of the COP28, as you know, the United Nations Conference on the Climate Change. So we can say very easily, I would say, that all the world will be here in Dubai to discuss about the future of our planet. Well, during that period, we will have the opportunity to also launch our message uh, through music from this stage. That's why we titled this concert, Concerts for Tomorrow, because we believe that all the sectors, including the cultural sector, have to contribute to the future of the planet. Of course, with the tools and the uh, languages that we can, uh, uh, from, we can use from our side. And we can do this with music. So we, we are going to launch a big message of hope also from this stage. And I have to mention, because it was really fundamental, their support from the Italian uh, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the International Cooperation, the Italian Ministry of Culture, and this concert will be exclusively sponsored by Planetu, the nucleus of the Italian energy company, ENI. So, of course, we don't want to miss this very, very special concert. Well, this is not, before moving ahead, we have a message, actually, that I would like to share with you from the CEO of Teatro La Scala. Let's move next. Among the, uh, I would say, really special performances that we are going to present, there is also uh, an extraordinary symphonic concert, actually two, that will be presented by Music Eterna, Music Eterna Orchestra, and its music director, Theodor Kurensis. Uh, this is going to be for the very first time Music Eterna and Kurensis coming to the Middle East. Uh, so we are very proud to be able to present them here at Dubai Opera. Uh, maybe some of you know Music Eterna is one of the most respected uh, orchestral ensembles right now uh, around the world. And uh, Kurensis is definitely one of the most inspiring uh, conductor of the last uh, two, three decades. So with them, with Theodor and Music Eterna, I'm sure we are going to also present a different vision of the classical music that too many times maybe is considered boring uh, or just connected to the past, actually, and I invite all of you to attend, you will see uh, that classical music performed in this way is able to resonate in every one of us. And the third very special debut that we are going to present is with the Rome Opera Ballet, the Ballet Company of the Rome Opera House, coming for the first time 
to to buy with a very unique uh, production delay uh, because we are going to see on this stage the company dancing with dresses made by Dior. So it's a special opportunity to celebrate you not know, just the the late excellence, but also see our fashion, high couture, and the late can actually dialogue together. Then, let's move forward. We have so much to say, I'm going to speed up a little bit. We have been inspired by, uh, for sure, other excellent organizations that are promoting the arts around the world that we wanted also for general first to have our New Year's concerts, like happening maybe for the most famous uh, Vienna's concert. So we are going to present a very special symphonic concert on January 1st, which will be feature the Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra with a very special cast of singers represented, representing um, the different cultures of the Middle East. So we will have singers coming from different parts of the region and we believe that this concert uh, hopefully will be the best way to start the new year by celebrating the diversity and the richness of cultures and the arts in this, in this region. Then I'm going to share just with you some highlights of uh, our ballet season. As you know, ballet is more and more and more popular here in Dubai. Actually, all theaters around the world have always uh, uh, make uh, sold out when, when they present ballet, and this is happening also here at the Bay Opera. So, uh, not only we are going to present the, the lay company of the Roma Prowess, but again, we are going to present again a very iconic title, The Nutcracker, uh, during the Christmas period, uh, this time with the ballet company from Stan, Stan Opera, and later in uh, February 24. Uh, we have the privilege to host the ballet school of the um, Theatre uh, La Scala of Milan. So it will be a great opportunity to have here on the stage very young, talented uh, dancers coming from one of the most prestigious uh, ballet schools in, uh, in the world. Then, musicals. As you know, musical is very, very popular here in uh, in Dubai. And uh, in the past we had uh, really big productions of musicals and also this year we have two major ones. Matilda, which has already been announced, coming for the very first time in the UAE and here are just one page of awards and prizes for Matilda, so I'm not going to go through all of this, but yes, it's really an iconic production and uh, we are happy to have the opportunity to present this with the multi award winning uh, company, Royal Shakespeare Company. Uh, and then we are happy to bring back again Phantom of the Opera uh, in uh, February, March 24. I know I was not here, but I know that Phantom, when it came here, was a huge, incredible success. So we are expecting, of course, it's happening again. Then we are going to launch a very special project. Uh, as you know, the music is so popular all around the world and the music is an inspiration for, for all of us. We all have in our mind, in our heart, uh, uh, the love soundtrack from one of the iconic movies that we all love. That's why we want to uh, have a dedicated project that celebrates film music. So we are going to dedicate an entire week in 24. Um, this is going to be the first edition of what we titled the Film Music Week at Dubai Opera. And I'm very proud to tell you that we are going to open this first Film Music Week with a very special concert, which is going to be uh, the official concert celebration of Ennio Morricone, as you know, one of the most iconic uh, uh, film music composers. And these concerts will be conducted by this song. So it will be an opportunity to have a direct connection, let's say, with the legacy of Morico. Uh,
2019. I'm very excited for these performance and uh, I can't wait to see you there. Okay, so we will wait more than a year in May 24. But then the new film is will be also of course an opportunity to experience uh, live with full orchestra, symphonic orchestra on stage and the full screening of the movie of some very iconic titles like Star Wars and Pirates of the Caribbean. So we will also present two very, very blockbusters, let me say, iconic titles with music and by two incredible composers like uh, John Williams and the Hansen. And we will conclude uh, this week with a classic uh, title, uh, Charlie Chaplin, the key, as you know, silent movie where really the music is the protagonist. So this is the first edition of the film music week. Concerts. Well, we are going to present many, many concerts, so I'm going to mention some of them very fast. Uh, we are going to have concerts from world music, jazz, rock, pop, electronic. Really, we are going to explore the impact spectrum of the different music genres. Gilberto G, one of the most important Brazilian artists, is coming for his last tour, so it will be the last opportunity to see him alive on stage, and he's coming here in just a few, few weeks. Hello, I am Gilberto G. I will be performing at the Dubai Opera. I hope you're going to come, you're going to like it. I'm very proud to be with you. Thank you. And then we will have so many other <laughs> instrumentalists. David Garnett, one of the most dynamic, I will say, violinist who is inspiring uh, millions of people around the world with his violin and with a very, very innovative, I would say, approach to, to classical music. <laughs> Thank you. 
say that they are all so excited to be here to Dubai Opera. You know, when we ask them to send us a message, a video contribution, the problem is to say, keep it short, don't play, don't sing, because they are so excited to have the opportunity to come here to the Dubai Opera. All right, let me mention quickly just a few more very special concerts. The screens help me. So, next one is again very iconic artist, Mike Caulfield, who is celebrated all over the world for having composed tubular bands. This very visionary composition, uh, which uh, will be featuring so many different instrumental music, music instruments. Um, performing one after the other, and it's the 50th anniversary of this uh, special, special music composition, and here again for the first time we will have the opportunity to listen live to Michael. Then I'm sure you all know this next artist because performed here already a couple of times very, very successfully, and Ludovica now is back again here at the opera. Uh, that every, every time that uh, we present him is always sold out and I heard that uh, uh, many from our audience uh, didn't have the chance to, to find tickets so here we are again, Ludovico is coming back to, to the bell. And let me finish by mentioning Alice Sarahot, pianist, classical pianist, who is going to present here a very unique project with uh, uh, some digital elements that will project, let's say, into the future, the classical performances, and then in Say a few words about the meaning of International Chess Day, please. Yes, thank you so much. But before I say a few words about Chess Day, I really would like to congratulate you and commend you for this uh, amazing and rich uh, number of artists and to see and to witness the excitement just in the very short video messages. Uh, it's really heartwarming. And I really congratulate you for this. I wish you the best of luck in having all of this. Now it's L'embarras du choix. It's now the choice of coming to Dubai 
to which one or which, because uh, it's, uh, it's really interesting for me and I would like to attend all of them. And what you mentioned, the 50th anniversary of Mike Oldfield, makes me feel so old because I grew with the music of Mike Oldfield, so <laughs> when you say 50 years, it's, uh, it's really shocking you a little bit. But um, on the Jazz Day, so it will be another honor and pleasure for us to, as to be associated with the celebration of uh, International Jazz Day here on April uh, 30th uh, next year, inshallah. As you know, UNESCO has the Goodwill Ambassador Herbie Hancock um, as our main partner for Jazz Day, uh, for jazz in general, for the promotion of jazz music in general. And this is since uh, 2011, when the 30th of April was proclaimed as the International Day of Jazz. As you know, jazz has become really an international universal language. A language for peace, a language for uh, dialogue, for empathy, uh, for understanding and exchange between the different cultures. Um, and uh, cities around the world are celebrating this day now. Um, just last year, it was celebrated in 10 cities, from Johannesburg to um, across the, the seven continents. Jazz is really a message of peace. Um, it brings everybody together. And UNESCO is now working with Ambassador Herbie Hancock in bringing jazz to the schools uh, in arts education, given the importance of promoting uh, jazz among the younger uh, generation. And I'm really happy to see the importance accorded by, by opera. To, to jazz and, and to celebrate this day. And hopefully the next, uh, the 2025 International Jazz Day will be celebrated here as well, as uh, uh, iconic, in this iconic place. Um, I'm really happy uh, once again, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. So we will start from Macbeth next November. Uh, production by the English Touring Theater. Then we will have a Slava Snow show that we are going to present in collaboration with Broadway Entertainment Group. And Slava's show, I have to say, is really kind of poem on, on stage. It's very, they present this as a family show, but for all of you, I see some people saying yes, but have the chance to, to saw it is much more than just a family show. Yes, we know everything that is able to move uh, uh, very young uh, uh, children most probably is going also to make us now be emotional. So you don't want to miss this very special also show. And uh, lastly, The Little Prince, inspired by, of course, the most famous celebrated novel. This is also a very poetic, I will say, production and performance. That's let's say the majority of our performances for the 23, 24, as Mr. Salah was just saying, you can imagine the diversity and the richness of this season and also, let me say, the major effort that Dubai Opera, along with all its partners, is doing really to uh, stimulate and inspire the entire community. Uh, and now let me mention at the very end some of the, let's say, collaborative projects that we want to, to launch. Maybe there are smaller projects that not for this reason are less, less important for us and hopefully also less important for, for you. Uh, we mentioned at the beginning we have this beautiful intimate space of the studio which is already serving to host many concert series also during the last uh, few years. Well, we wanted to give more, uh, more uh, importance at our studio and that's why we created four new concert series and one, I'm very proud to, to announce this, will be dedicated entirely to Emirati musicians, Emirati talents. So in collaboration with the new created, new born Emirati Musicians Association, we are going to present a concert series entirely featuring uh, local Emirati artists. And I think this is going to be just the beginning of something uh, bigger that we will develop uh, all together. Uh, second concert series uh, uh, is going to be presented along with Steinway, you know, one of the most important uh, piano uh, concerts.
companies in the world, uh, Stanley, which is already our official, let's say, piano partner here at Dayalka, we have Stanley Pianos. We are going to join forces with Stanley for presenting uh, uh, talented uh, international young pianists that will have the opportunity to perform in our, in our studio. And then, this is also another initiative we strongly believe in, and I would like to thank immediately Anita Flat, who is sitting here. Anita, I'm sure many of you know her. She's not just an exceptional artist, pianist, musician, but also a very, very committed, uh, I will say, um, uh, manager and organizer. Uh, she has been doing so much here in Dubai over the last years. We have been collaborating with her and her organization for for uh, several years. She's running very successfully a um, youth orchestra project and with Amira and with the support of the uh, Guildford School, Royal School Guildford, uh, we are going to present this series that we named Global Notes. We have invited, with the curatorship of Amira, probably some of the most interesting uh, uh, young soloists uh, right now in the world. So you will have the opportunity to really meet the next generation, let's say, of incredible talents here in the studio of, uh, of Dubai Alpha. And thank you, Amira, for, for your support. Lastly, uh, this is another very special uh, collaboration that we are launching with some of the most important uh, international music competition. We developed a strategic partnership with the World Federation of International Music Competitions the organization that brings together all the most important competitions in the world, music competitions. And we agreed with them that the first prize winners of some of the most important competitions will have the opportunity to perform here at the studio of the Bay Opera. And we will start with the uh, winners of two, maybe of the most famous music competitions in the classical music field, the Queen Elizabeth competition in Belgium and the Paganini competition in, in Italy. Now, we mentioned this actually at the very, very beginning, but let me uh, explain very quickly. Uh, we don't want just to be a, an organization that promotes performances. Yes, that's the core of our mission, uh, but we, will, we want also to stay close, especially to the community and the new generation of young professionals that are hoping maybe one day to be able to perform on this stage or to work behind this Curtain. That's why we are going to launch next year, for the very first time, the training program of Dubai Opera. And uh, this is a training program that will allow uh, young professionals to have a work experience here at Dubai Opera, uh, an opportunity to learn and interact with our exceptional, I have to say, team, uh, both from production and for, from our artistic event department. So this project is going to be uh, presented in collaboration with the Dubai College of Tourism and I would like to uh, thank uh, the college and again also Dubai Tourism for all the support. They immediately uh, shared this, this idea and they immediately uh, confirmed their, their support and we are very, very proud for that. So Dubai Opera will be also a place where we can learn how to work in the performing arts.